Hi guys, welcome to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about AI Canvas Leonardo. Ways to fix spaces on your generated images. Face correction. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now for today's video, we will be talking about how you can fix the faces of your generations in Leonardo AI. There are different ways such as Leonardo Canvas where you can edit it in Canvas and like add the different things and try and fix the faces. But aside from that, we're also going to be discussing different ways that you could do to be able to help fix or improve the faces that you're trying to generate. So the first thing you're going to have to do is of course for any type of prop is to generate your prop over here. Generate different types or type in whatever you would like to see and of course there will be something you would need to add which is a negative prop there's also options over here so we're going to go with the negative prop for the negative prop basically this is parts of the prop that you don't want to see on your output basically for example i said i don't want to see the color blue so it's going to remove the color blue from your output over here but you would need to be able to figure out the correct prop or a negative prop to be able to produce amazing output so i'm going to go back to the home page of leonardo over here let's look for the basis that i use for this image over here which is this one over here so we're going to open this and as you can see there is a lot of different negative prop that was added over here if you look through the different images produced in the leaderboards over here for example this one you will be able to notice that some of them have a lot of negative prop as you can see for example this one we have a lot of negative prop to be able to produce amazing faces over here such example are wrinkles two-headed face like even extra fingers all of those stuff and for example this one also see it over here double faces double features two heads and all of those stuff with faces and sure that we are able to produce amazing faces as you can see here we have a very detailed face and there is a lot of different outputs generated right now and they all have amazing results and you can see they have a lot of negative prop added into them for example this one let's go and try to duplicate this one so we're going to copy this go to our prop section over here paste that and we're going to also copy our negative prop over here which is a very important part to be able to produce an amazing result so let's go ahead and choose our model over here and we're going to go with absolute reality and click on generate and by doing this we will be able to generate our output and this is our basis over here and let's see if we will be able to like duplicate this and let's generate this once again actually without a negative prop in our next generation so right now this is being generated and let's remove our negative prop over here and let's also generate it so that we could compare the two outputs with or without our negative prop and as you can see this is our output it is not as beautiful as this one but you can see that its facial features are okay not the best but it's okay you don't really see much deformities maybe like the proportions are a bit off but nonetheless it's still amazing output very good output and for this one surprisingly it was able to produce better outputs than this one even without the negative prop basically the negative prop is like a fail safe if ever Leonardo does try to act up and produce bad outputs the negative prop will allow you to not produce negative or bad outputs but as you can see we were able to produce the faces over here another key features is by using the correct fine-tune model there are a lot of different fine-tune models over here you could select different custom models you could choose from platform models over here as you see there is a lot of options over here there's community models over here and you're going to have to select the correct model for you to be able to produce amazing results because each of this has different types of preference or a reference photo to you base out of so if you're not using the correct model sometimes you will be able to produce bad facial features so now how do you fix facial features on the canvas option of you know, like the canvas feature for example this one over here you should simply go to hover on a specific photo click on this edit in canvas option over here and you will be redirected to the canvas section where you can see 
your output that you have generated in Canvas over here. And you can simply select the section that you would like to edit, for example, the nose. Let's fix our size over here, actually. Select this, and let's try and make this smaller. I don't think we can make it smaller than it is, but let's see. Let's go and put it in the middle. And let's see, uh, rounder and rather nose. I click on generate and let's see if we will be able to generate the specific prop that we have selected. The good thing about the canvas of Leonardo is that you will be able to edit specific section of your image. For example, like what we did, we're focusing on the nose. Simply put the nose within this box over here, this rainbow box, and we'll be able to edit that specific section. You could also extend the photo, like if you put the box outside here, you will be able to extend the photo that way. And you will be able to add like extra components to your images, which is a very useful thing. There's a lot of different features you could do with the canvas option over here. You have the select, mask, erase, sketch, and even upload extra images for you to edit. But as you can see right now, we're going to try and like generate a better nose using the canvas option over here. And that is what you're basically able to do when you choose this option, like simply select the specific output that you want to add like you can even say that you would like to have like brushes or like a whiter teeth or like a redder lips and you can add them over here but we're simply going to wait for the output of this one for now while waiting let's go back to leonardo over here let's try and check and generate another photo over here that has amazing image for example this one over here let's try and generate this one as well while waiting for our Leonardo canvas over here to finish generating our four image over here. So let's wait. Now over here, as you can see, this is an image that I would like to duplicate. So we'll simply go in to copy the prompt. And let's go and generate this image as well. Over here, we're going to paste this over here. And we're going to add our negative prompt. Now let's go check out the prompt that we saw earlier. Let's go check out the negative prop so that we could, you know, duplicate it and see the difference. Let's see, where was it? It was over here. And this is our negative prop. We're simply going to copy this. You could do this for when you're generating your own image. You could look through the different negative prop of the different images in this community showcase because they can be very useful as well. And you could generate and copy the negative prop that other people have been using to generate their outputs and do it with your outputs so that you could, you know, have a better outputs as well. And as you can see here, it tried to produce us a red nose, but we can't really see it. So with this, you're going to have to try and try again and see how you will be able to add different things. And you can also change the canvas mode. You have text to image, image to image over here, and like a sketch to image over here. So let's try this one. And let's generate it and let's see what it will be able to produce for us. And while waiting for us, we're going to generate this. And as you can see, we were able to produce a lady with a good facial feature, as you can see here. So it is a very good tip to be able to use the different types of negative props available right now and the uh, home page of Leonardo for this and while waiting let's see and see this one before we end our video let's see the output going to be produced for us for canvas also keep in mind canvas is a beta version so it's not going to be as good as the AI image generator so you can't really rely on it on very big task like what we're doing right now but we're checking if it will be able to do some modifications with our image over here but i suggest you do your modifications on your generations directly so that you will be able to produce a better face as you can see here we were able to produce very good batches except for this one but we were able to produce good ones so let's wait and there we go it was going to suggest us different types of image right now although it made it worse personally i think it didn't create a good job so like i said earlier it's in beta version you shouldn't really expect too much of it but that's it guys that is how you will be able to have a better face generation in leonardo ai hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching